the first night I met Grace, we hit it off. We literally were out with our friend groups. I peeled off from mine, she peeled off from hers, and we just talked for hours, hours. It took me a really long time to get up the courage to ask her for her number. And I said, can I get your phone number? And the words hadn't gotten off of my tongue yet. And Grace quipped, do you remember what you said, babe? Yeah. It took you long enough. Let me tell y'all who she turned out to be. The miracle baby, the favorite child, the kid that skipped first grade, the tennis star, valedictorian, the engineer, and now in case you haven't heard, a southern drawl. I've always been so proud of her growing up. She's fearless, she takes chances, she's creative, She's been very successful and will continue to be because she works harder than anyone I know. I am so proud to be your fiance and to become your husband tomorrow. You make me the happiest man in the world. I love you more than anything. Dear Jay, the day that we both have dreamed of is finally here. I've dreamed of this day since I was a little girl when my mom used to tell me a bedtime story about my prince. I have dreamed about this day for so long, the perfect knight in shining armor. But somehow I failed to dream this specific dream, the one about a man from a small town in Kentucky who not only steals my heart, but who had earned it. The man who compliments me in every single way, the man who has a heart of gold and quads of steel. There are so many things that I love about you, your huge heart, your dedication, your loyalty, your faith in God. I love the way you listen to me so intently, the way you look at me, and the way you kiss me, the way you hold me as if you never want to let me go, the way you love me. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but if every single one of them had to happen to make sure that I was right here, right now, with you, saying these vows to you, then I forgive myself for all of them. My heart could not feel more full. Everything I want in life, and I mean everything, is standing right in front of me. I vow to love you deeper every day. When we're old and I've created a lifetime of memories together, I will take solace in knowing that each wrinkle on both of our worn hands are reminiscent of the love and experiences that we have been blessed with. Today, I marry you with no hesitation and no doubt. Let my promises to you stand true from today until forever. You are my life, you are my love, we are one. But marriage to me is when two people develop love and trust, and respect, and understanding, and friendship with one another. Those are the pillars of a relationship. And once you got those, you take them and you cement them by instilling everything you know and believe in God. That's what will stand the test of time. And that's what will last forever. And by my definition, Grace and I are already married. When I got down on one knee, almost a year ago, it's exactly how I felt. And it's exactly how I felt every single day since. But it's obvious how much you guys love each other, and that's what everybody wants. So I wish you both 
a lifetime of exactly what you have right now. Love, happiness, health, and that couple that everybody wants to be. Jordan, I have never seen anyone love my sister the way you do. The way you treat her, protect her, and defend her, and take care of her. There's nothing we could ever ask more from, from my sister. In the Lebanese culture, they say when you marry a girl, you marry her family. Jordan, I'm sorry, but you're stuck with us. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you as a brother, and if your marriage is anything like the last two years, I know you will have the greatest love story of all time. When I look at you, I know that there's a God. And I know that He loved me so much that He created you just for me. You are my best friend, my one true love, and the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are my lobster. I take you as my wife this evening, today, tomorrow, and always.